you clean out your closet and have clothing that no longer fits, has gone out of style, or is no longer needed, what do you do with it? If you put it in a clothing recycling bin, it might get reused. But if you throw it away, it goes in the landfills. So why not use a bit of creativity like this and create accessories like these? Now I don't consider myself to be a real crafty person, but with a few basic sewing skills and a bit of a creative eye for design, I can see the potential for taking discarded clothing items and belts and turning them into these stylish, one-of-a-kind handbags to mix and match with my wardrobe. Hi, my name is Megan Stahl, and I'm a fourth year member of the Dolan, South Dakota FCCLA chapter. The title of my Recycle and Redesign Senior Project is Recycled Accessories for Your Dress-Up Necessities. When I was looking through the FCCLA Star Event Manual, I came across this Recycle and Redesign Star Event and immediately became interested in doing this project. I remember reading and discussing a life skills unit in my facts class, which dealt with the environment in the three R's, reduce, reuse, and recycle. We learned many facts about the amount of waste here in the U.S. and the serious drawbacks it has on our environment. According to research published by Charter Recycling, Americans discard an estimated 68 pounds of clothing each year, and about 99% of what is thrown away can be recycled. Clothing and household textiles make up about 5% of the total garbage in landfills. So through the use of the FCCLA planning process, I first identified my concern about the amount of used clothing that goes into our landfills every year, and the fact that many of us do not take the time to recycle or donate these items. The next step in the planning process was to set a goal. Since I didn't really have an idea of what to make out of my discarded clothing, my FCCLA advisor suggested I look at some recycling websites for some project ideas. That is when I got the idea to make fun handbags out using belts and clothing for myself and others. So I set a goal to use some creativity in turning discarded clothing items and belts into one-of-a-kind handbags and accessories to, by recycling items from my home. The third step of the FCCLA planning process was to form a plan. Who? I will carry out this project with the assistance of my advisor. What? I will try to recycle old clothing and belts into something usable. Where? I will work on my project at school in my classroom. When? I will get started by the end of February and work before and after school and in our tutoring Fridays. Why? I want to do my part to recycle discarded, discarded clothing items and belts into something usable. How? I will look for ideas and then decide what it is I want to create. For the act part of the planning process, I first went through my closet and totes looking for clothing items and belts I no longer wore. I also had my mom look through some closets for items. After I was able to coordinate colors of items, I took them to school where I was able to use a sewing machine in my fax room and get the assistance of my advisor. At this point, I was all set to make my handbags. Here's my material profile. I took a piece of fabric from each of the fabrics that I use. They were all made from 16% cotton and 40% polyester. I also took a swatch of fabric from the belt used, which was also made from cotton and polyester. All the fabrics I used to make my handbags were machine washable and dryable, so the handbags will have very easy care. Now I want to walk you through my storyboard. Here are the recycled items I used. A man's polo shirt, two dresses, and a pair of camouflage pants and belts. I started off by making this blue and yellow striped bag, so I will show you the steps it took to make that handbag. All the handbags were made very similarly, utilizing the only unique features of the fabrics. I started off on day one by cutting the fabric to the size of the handbag I want it to be. Then I cut out the pocket and attached it to the outside of my bag. Next, I attached the lining and then I squared off the bottom corners of the bag. I then pinned the top of the bag so that I could gather it and attached the belts to the top. I then sewed the straps, turned them right side out, and ironed them. I took the metal pieces off the belts and sewed them onto the sides of my bag and tied the straps on. That is my completed bag. As far as the cost itemization, the striped polo shirt, the printed t-shirt, the yellow black floral dress, the pink colorful dress, the white tablecloth, and the camouflage pants were all free of charge because I recycled them from my closet. I spent $6 on belts that I bought at a Goodwill store. I spent a dollar's worth of thread and about 25 cents worth of velcro. That brought my total cost to $7.25. Next comes my timeline. On February 28th, I started my hot project by rummaging through closets and totes for discarded clothing items and belts to recycle. This took around 30 minutes. On March 2nd, I purchased four more belts at Goodwill Store in Aberdeen to complete my materials list. This took me about 10 minutes. 
On March 4th, I began construction on my first bag by cutting the fabric and stitching the belts together. This took me around an hour. On March 6th, I worked on the pocket, the fabric lining, and the straps, taking about another hour. On March 11th, I completed my first hand bag by attaching the bag to the belts, sewing on the buckles, and attaching the straps. This brought the total time to complete one bag to three hours. Every bag took around three hours, bringing my total time to 12 hours and 25 minutes. One of my eight recycling and redesign skills I selected on the chart was the basic marketing plan. Because I feel I really could start a small recycled handbags and accessories business with my recycle and redesign idea. I would like to quickly discuss my plan with you. Overview. Recycled accessories for your dress up necessities is a business designed around recycling used clothing and belts and turning them into handbags. Market analysis. This home-based business will mainly target teenage through adult females who have a, uh, an eye for unique redesigned accessories. Description of product. These unique one-of-a-kind handbags will come in several shapes and sizes, depending on the recycled clothing, belts, or other materials used. The, fa the fabric contents will vary from handbag to handbag. The various designs of the handbag will give them anywhere from a casual look to a dressy appearance when paired with the perfect outfit. Description of the company. This business is unique in the fact that it is based on recycling used clothing, belts, and other materials used for embellishment into usable handbags. Special orders will be taken if a customer brings in their own clothing items to be recycled. For example, if a person has a piece of clothing that no longer fits or is in style, or an item from a loved one that holds a special memory, it can be turned into a handbag. Unlike the handbags sold in department stores, these handbags will have unique one-of-a-kind designs to them. Organization and Management this will be a small in-home business, which will eliminate the cost of renting a building. I would be the sole manager of the company. If the, sale, if the sales of the handbags increase steadily, I will hire an assistant who is both creative and crafty. Marketing and sales. The completed one-of-a-kind handbags will be sold out of my home and at craft fairs and consignment shops in and around my community. This business will be advertised in the local newspaper and surrounding communities. Flyers will also be made and distributed. A website will be created to advertise and sell the recycled handbags and include information about special orders. All internet orders will be shipped at the request of the buyer for an extra charge. Pricing options. The affordable handbags will range in price from $10 to $40, depending on the size and the amount of detail and embellishment that goes into designing and sewing them. Financing. Startup costs will include the cost of advertising, a good use sewing machine, thread and other sewing notions, and minimal charges for purchasing secondhand clothing, belts, and other accessories used in creating the handbags. The majority of the clothing will be free of charge from donors. The final step of the FCC land planning process was the follow-up. I had a lot of fun with this star event and finding creativity that I never knew I had. But more importantly, I learned that there are multiple environmental benefits associated with recycling clothing. I also learned that I could actually turn this project into a real business. I am anxious to use these handbags, and I will always be looking for just the right piece of clothing to do another project. If you use your own creativity and imagination, you too can find ways to make recycled accessories for your dress and necessities, and do your part to help preserve, improve, and protect our environment. This concludes my project. Do you have any questions?